Shalom, Shalom. This is your brother Shamak out of the Great Millstone Atlanta camp. Before I get started, want to give all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rachakwadash. Yahweh being the Heavenly Father's true name, while in his only begotten son's true name being Yahweh Shai, both in the Hebrew tongue, whom the world incorrectly calls God and Jesus Christ. I also want to give double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well and who are the true leaders of the Hebrew Israelites in these last days. I also want to give a shalom to all the sincere brothers that's pushing teaching this truth worldwide and shalom to all you sincere believers. All right. This one to truly touch on the, the uh, what's going on currently in the news. All right. Of the baby formula sh uh, shortage. Okay. Just a, a quick Google search. And this is simply show that we are in the we are in heavy times according to the uh, according to the Bible, according to the scriptures. All right, they already forespoken of these times to come. Heavy and great tribulation. All right. And excuse and excuse the noise too. I, I am outside. All right. But just a quick Google search, this is what's going on. This is the time of judgment. We this is show that we in the last days, man. Great tribulation is ahead. All these such things, man. And this is for spoken about in the scriptures and forewarned to our people, our people being you Negroes, Latinos, and you Native Americans who are truly Hebrew Israelites, according to the Bible, you're scattered worldwide. All right. So and just you know, just a few subtitles you see here it says four infants are hospitalized in South Carolina over the baby formula shortage. Babies hospitalized as formula shortage grows more dire. All right, that's still speaking on the four South, South Carolina infants. It says uh, Texas man gives away 300 cans of baby form a baby formula a man crippling shortage. See, so these, hey, these are, you know this is affecting you know this is this is you know hitting families hard, man. Okay, you see, look at the stores, man. The shortage is there. Okay, it says formula for trouble. How the U.S. got into an infant formula mess. All right. So, you know, that that's, I just want to quickly grab those subtitles just to show that, man, it's, it's going on. All right. And it's being reported, you know, it's, 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 it's crippling, you know, it's crippling people, man. It's, but this is a show that we in a time of judgment. All right. We are in serious times. We're in the times to what? Repent and seek mercy from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. This is the best time to repent and seek mercy. All right. So I want to grab Isaiah. Chapter 65, verse 12. All right, and it reads, ooh, now nah, verse 11. It reads, but ye are they that forsake the Lord, that forget my holy mountain, that holy mountain being the nation of Israel, that prepare a table for that troop, and that furnish the drink offering unto that number. Verse 12. Therefore will I number you to the sword. And that's what the, hey, that's what the Lord is doing. All right, he's numbering, of course, the heathen, these other nations outside the Israelites, are going to be numbered to the sword, but also the wicked and the evil spirits of our own people. All right. It says, therefore, will I number you to the sword and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter because when I called, ye did not answer. And this truth is only for the Israelites. All right. This this calling is only for the, the Hebrew Israelites, according to the Bible. No matter what language you speak, no matter how what, what your appearance may be, it's according to the spirit. If you could believe hey, you truly are an Israelite, man. All right. It says, but it says, when I spake. Ye did not hear, but did evil before my eyes, and did choose that therein, wherein I delighted not. So the people, you know, they fan the hand at the word, they fan the hand at the prophets, they ignore the prophets. You know, they they continue on with the you know falling after the week of holidays after being warned of of their doings. You know, they continue on smoking, they continue on getting tattoos, they continue on you know the idol worship with other religions. You know, after being warned, so hey, the Lord is going to He's not going to call. He's not going to provide that protection in the in the time of judgment, and we're coming into that time of judgment just with the with me emphasizing emphasizing the uh, baby formula shortage alone. You know that's a that's a famine. You know famine is what starvation. All right, kids are starving just because it's it, it, it's not dealing with, and we are, and it's already food shortages taking place. You know worldwide, man. All right, that has, has already been gradually happening over time. Farmers of last year, twenty twenty one, or also I think including 2020 you know had to kill a lot of animals man but you feel those effects later on in another time all right but verse 13 this is the balance to it verse 13 therefore thus saith the lord power behold my servant shall eat so those that sincerely believe and follow after the ways of yahweh by shim all right in truth and sincerity it says my servant shall eat but ye shall be hungry behold my servant shall drink but ye shall be thirsty behold my servant shall rejoice 
but ye shall be ashamed in the time of judgment, man, in the, in the great trouble that is coming upon the planet Earth. The economy collapsing, the power grid getting shut off, baby, baby formula shortages, all, they gro the gro grocery stores being empty. All right. But what the Lord's going to say, hey, my servant shall eat. All right. Why all out, all this trouble is going on? Why these people hungry? My sir, I'm a I'm a I'm a uh, provide for my servants. All right. Do we know in detail? Of course not. That's where faith comes in, man. All right. Do we do we have all the answers? Of course not. According to what we what we're obligated to know, according to the Bible, you know. But we don't have we don't have the answer to or oh, how we're going to get delivered, where we're going to get delivered, what's going to be going on while while we're getting saved out of certain troubles. We just know we have to keep the faith until the end. That's the end all be all. All right. And trusting these scriptures and comforting scriptures like this in Isaiah 65 verse 13. We got to trust the scriptures like this. It says, but ye shall be thirsty and behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. So the Lord's going to provide for those, those sincere believers in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And those that have been mocking and scoffing and not believing are going to be on the other side. Are going to be on, the, you know, the, the, the side of judgment, the side of death. All right, which we we fear to be on, man. We that's why we sincerely fear Yahweh by Shemuel and it takes faith to even fear. All right, so let me also grab Second Ezra, because that's the times we're living in. Second Ezra, of course, uh, fifteen and sixteen. All right, but let me grab Second Ezra chapter sixteen. Oh, you know what, man? Oh man, let me get um, Second Ezra chapter sixteen, verse thirty-three. It reads, the virgins shall mourn, having no bridegrooms. The women shall mourn. And this is in this baby formula shortage is ca is causing, you know, families to mourn, causing women to mourn, you know, or women to at least, you know, panic, you know, doubt. All right, it says the women shall mourn. And the scriptures speak about rise up, you women that are at ease, you careless daughters, man. All right, because people think people in America, people worldwide taking the vacations, you know. You know, buying buying the you know the luxury the clothes and, and and the cars and doing you know just being distracted or what's truly about to really happen according to the Bible, you know, it says the women shall mourn having no husbands, their daughters shall mourn having no helpers, in the wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed and their husbands shall perish of famine. See, it's not just gonna be the baby formula short. It's gonna be also hey, these grocery stores are gonna be emptied out. It's gonna be a lot going on at one time. Verse 35, hear now these things and understand them, ye servants of the Lord. All right, it's only meant for a select few to actually understand and believe in this truth. And that's still going to be a, a lot of people. That's still going to be a lot of people, man. So I continue on verse 36. Behold, the word of the Lord, receive it. Believe not the gods of whom the Lord spake. Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. The plagues, the plagues being evils. All right, the evils are drawing closer and closer. It's, 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 it, 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 at some point, it's not going to be a baby formula shortage. It's going to be the A. It's no more baby formula at all. It's not going to be, oh, the grocery stores are running out of food. It's going to be emptied out totally. All right, or, or being held by the government where they, are, they have to entice you to go into those concentration camps to have full control of your whereabouts. You know, these are the times we're coming in, but, but the world is ignoring it. Is ignoring that warning, and it's going to, they're ultimately going to, of course, going to pay for that. You know, verse 38, it says, When a woman with child in the ninth month bring forth her son with two or three hours of her of her, of her birth, great pains could pass her womb, which pains, when the child coming forth, they slack not a moment. So these troubles hit. They're not going to, they're going to hit hard, just as a woman birth pains. Verse 39, Even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn. And sorrow shall come upon it on every side. So things it's not going to just be one thing going on, one bad event taking place in the planet Earth. No, it's going to be famine. It's going to be violence during the famine. All right? It's going to be people sick as hell, pestilence. All right? It says sorrows on every side. People, you know, uh, uh, yeah, sick as, hell, sick as hell without shelter, you know, hot, cold. All right? This is it's going to be all it, it, creatures. It's going to be animals out here uh, hunting people. You know, killing people, all right? It's going to be a lot at one time. The Lord's going to be sending apparitions upon people's minds, having them seeing things that is, that's not even truly there, messing up with their head. When, when they're, going to be, they're going to want to kill themselves, you know? Sorrows on every side. And one of those sorrows is what's going on now with this baby formula. That's just one sorrow. And this is the beginning. You know, this is the beginning. That's the scary part, man. That's why we are to fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and he will give the mercy. All right, verse 40. 
It says, oh, my people, hear my word. Make you ready to that battle. And that's what's make you ready when you're paying attention to what's going on in the world. You know, when they mention the blackouts, they mention this, the, uh, the baby formula shortage and what's going on. You know, it says, and in those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth, travelers upon the earth. Because the Lord, hey, the Lord is going to direct our steps, man. Let me grab that in Proverbs chapter 16. The Lord is going to direct, and we're going to trust in that. Because we don't, we're not going to, when things, you know, when things hit the fan, when all out hell breaks loose, we're not going to be like, well, I got, I got the calculated measurement of where I wanted to go. I got the map where I wanted to travel as soon as, the, soon as this happened. No, it's going to be up to the Lord. This is Proverbs chapter 16, verse 9. A man's heart divides up his way. Yeah, our mind, man, Allah. It says, but the Lord directed his steps. All right, so it's going to be up to the Lord, man. The Lord is going to direct our steps. That's why we just simply say, as of right now, the time right now, why evil is not, and is, has not yet hit its climax, hey, repent. Repent. And it's not, only, it's not only for yourself, but also for your family. All right, this is Acts chapter 16, uh, going on down to verse 30. Acts chapter 16, verse 30. All right. When the prisoners broke out of that prison, you know, a, uh, the guard was, you know, was was basically tripping out. He was bugging out, you know, but they, what, what did Paul and, hold on, let me see. Paul and Silas told him, I'm going to read uh, verse 29. This is Acts chapter 16, verse 29. Then he called for a light and sprang in and came trembling. See, he was bugging out. Like, man, what the hell? What, what I'm going to do? You know, the people was getting out of the prison. But it says that he fell down before Paul and Silas, all right, the apostles and teachers, all right, the disciples of Yahweh Shai. And it says, and brought them out and said, sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, believe on the Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, and thou shalt be saved in thy house. See? So you, we are to, that's what we're, we're preaching that same that same message, man. Hey, hey, repent, turn back from your wicked ways, you know, fear, fear the Lord. All right, call and believe on the, on the true name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bashem Shai. You're going to be saved in, in a uh, great opportunity for your family to be saved as well. You know, great opportunity, man. All right. So, let me see if I want to get, um, I'm going to reread that Acts chapter 16, verse 31. It says, And they said, Believe on the Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, and thou shalt be saved in thy house. So, it's truly not, it's not just you alone, man. You, you, you could be fighting very much very much so for others as well all right is 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 you know it's easy of course it's easier said than done but hey, it's heavy times we're coming into as this baby formula shortage you know is it's escalating or become more becoming more in, into the news but it's just to show that we are the beginning i'm in off with that with second edge 16 uh 18. second edge chapter 16 verse 18. it reads the beginning of sorrows and great mornings the beginning of famine and great death. When hey, when babies start, you know that's gonna that's gonna mess people's heads up, man. That's judgment. That's truly more so judgment on a parent. It says in the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear. In the beginning of evils, what shall I do when these evils shall come? All right, verse 30, verse nineteen. Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for a minute. So yeah, these events that the Lord is going to have take place, it's going to be for correction unto the unto the uh, children of Israel. But people still not going to take heed, man. Verse twenty. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. See, verse twenty one. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they should think themselves to be in good case, and evil then shall evils grow upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. Yeah, people think themselves to be in good case, man. Receiving stimulus checks, income tax. You know, was paying the, the, the gas prices are rising too. You was 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 reg, you know, they was rising. When you was paying two or three dollars, that was like okay. We, hey, we they think themselves to be in good case. Going on vacations, doing this or that. But hey, it's, it's hey people, it's, it's these things are increasing now. Gas prices by the by the uh, exceed six dollars. Go up to seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, food shortages. People ain't people just confused. They're gonna be seeking answers, man. It'll be great confusion. Verse 22, and the answers are only going to be, the truth is only going to come from the men of the Lord, the prophets, all right? The believers in Yahweh by Shema Shai, the Israelites. Verse 22, for many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine, shall perish of starvation. So this baby from the shortage, that's an that's a infant starvation right there. And that's not like, you know, that affects families, man. It says, uh, but continue on, it says, and the other that escaped the hunger shall have sword destroyed. So those that escaped dying of starvation, you're going to die of getting tortured, uh, 
beat to beaten to death, stoned to death, or however the case may be. So we are in a time of judgment, and this is and this is what's taking place very soon. This is going to happen very soon. What's going to come to the point where you won't be able to seek out the answers on the, on the internet anymore? You only it's going to be only through truly word to mouth, you know, through miracles. All right, so it's, it's best you know to believe now, repent now, you know, and take advantage. It's a lot here. And basically, take advantage of of the evil days not being here yet, man. All right. But Lord willing, no that lesson was edifying, but also encouraging to you sincere believers. I want to end out by giving all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakhakwadash. Alright, double honesty, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Hey, Shalom, keep the faith. Shalom.